You're watching Smart Money. Falling rupee has forced the government and Reserve Bank of India to take a number of steps to stabilize the currency. Some of the steps taken are reducing imports of precious metal, specifically gold, and tightening the dollar outflow. Let's have a quick look at what are these measures and how will they impact your money. Vivina has the story. The Indian rupee is falling to a fresh low every day. The government and RBI are taking a number of steps to try and stabilize the situation with the currency. Some of the obvious options to help achieve this include encouraging more non-resident Indian deposits, reducing imports of precious metal such as gold and tightening dollar outflow. Various steps have been taken to address these matters. First, import of gold coins and medallions are not allowed and the domestic use of gold is now restricted to jewellery only. In the past few months, periodically the government has raised the import duty on gold which now stands at 10%. This means that domestic gold prices will remain high until the current account deficit is brought down to a comfortable level. However, it may be noted here that the festive season is just starting and that may boost the demand yet again. RBI has increased the rate of deposit for NRIs who want to deposit in India in a foreign currency for a period of 3 to 5 years by almost 100 basis points. If you are residing in India and have been remitting money outside the country, then you cannot remit more than $75,000 a fiscal year. Also, acquisition of a movable property outside in India directly or indirectly will not be allowed. Monica, the rupee seems to be hitting a new low every day. It's just totally going out of control, isn't it? Uh, we've had reactions coming in, measures coming in from the government and the regulator as well. What do they really mean for our money? How worried should we be? It's a very strange time, Vivek, with all the restrictions coming in on gold and on televisions which you can't get in and all the forex that you can get. Isn't it a throwback on the 70s? I mean, I'm soon thinking maybe we'll clutch ration cards and line up for milk and uh, <laughs> eggs again like it used to be in the 70s. You know, so it's a very sad thing that we've come back to a space where we, we thought we had completely <coughs> lost. But anyway, let's see what, let's try and see what the government is doing and the RBI is doing. They're trying to make it more expensive to take the dollar out. They want it more attractive to bring the dollar in so that the gap that we have on our, on our deficit gets curtailed to a certain extent and the rupee doesn't fall in value so much. So to do that, of course, they've banned the import of gold coins. The import duty on gold has been rising. The dollar limit of what you can take out of the country has been reduced from two lakh dollars per person per year to $75,000 and you cannot buy property with this money anymore, whereas earlier you could to make it more attractive for NRIs to put money in, the rates on the NRE, which is the rupee account in the FCNR, which is the hard currency account, have been raised progressively. So these are the measures that the government has taken and RBI has taken. But the falling rupee, it's fallen drastically from last year and the year before last, has made it very difficult, especially for the whole set of students who are looking at education abroad. So you don't have, the, the supply of education institutions in the country is restricted. So students want to go out. They have been able to take the exam and go out, but it is getting progressively more and more difficult as the rupee falls. Every institution that you apply to, the admission cost, the fees for the application form is $100 at times, $150. That cost has gone up by 20, 30, 40% over the last two years progressively as the rupee has gone on falling. The TOEFL exam, the GRE exam, all that costs more and more. The cost of the education abroad, the four-year undergrad or the post-graduation course that people go, children go for is getting 25 to 30 percent more expensive. So that's as far as the student community is concerned. For other people who are tourists, a cup of coffee is going to cost you 25 percent more in Europe because the rupee has fallen. And your everything else, of course, your travel, your hotel is more expensive, not such a great time to travel abroad. And for the high net worth investors who are investing abroad through buying properties, it is a difficult time because there's, there's no clarity on how this, uh, when this uh, uh, restriction on buying properties abroad will be raised or if at all. So it's a difficult time and there is also the problem of the impact on Indian inflation because of the falling rupee because of the large oil import bill. 
So overall, I think it's a very tough situation within the country and for those going out. And uh, at the moment, it doesn't look as if things are getting any better. But again, if you take a look back at history, deep crisis also trigger off deep reform. So I'm going to ever be the optimist and say, maybe this great uh, threat that we're going through to the economy will trigger some deep reform which is needed to get back onto the growth path. All right, uh, Monica, thanks for that. Time for a quick break. But to get our expert opinion on your finances, you can email us, call us, SMS us, and tweet us your queries. After the break, we come back and solve all your money-related questions. Keep watching Smart Money.